Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Our official sponsor, Greenwood Stock Trading. If you want to learn how to make some passive income, some extra money, so you can invest in your future and your kids' future, give them a call for a free 10 minute consultation 281 760 3170. Go get to the bag. All right, man, let's talk about Terrence Crawford. Got some intel on uh, Terrence Crawford, real quick. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Memo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, and your cash app, Memo, PayPal, the whole nine. So, uh, so apparently, uh, the WBO ordered Alexis Rocha to take on Terrence Bud Crawford as his mandatory. Now, apparently, Golden Boy wants to sign Terrence Crawford to a deal that would include Alexis Rocha, then Virgil Ortiz, then possibly going into an Errol Spence fight. I'm being told that Terrence Crawford wants to, you know, just do the Rocha fight with Golden Boy, see how it go, and remain a free agent, and then decide if he want to, you know, continue to roll with Golden Boy. Um, you know, see, fill out the process and all that type of stuff, so... That's what I just heard through the rumor mill that he want to, you know, understand we still want to fill out process. Um, apparently, he still was talking to Al and them or somebody at PBC, according to Coppinger, about fighting. Now, I asked somebody to reach out to a member of the team, and um, they responded and said that Earl Spencer Crawford, blood team, and the fight going to happen when hell freezes over. So that fight is dead. Like I kept telling y'all, they don't want to fight. Um, they got their reasons, and I'm cool with it. It ain't the first time boxing went without a fight that people wanted to see. Uh, Lennox Lewis and uh, 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 Riddick Bow, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Prime Mike and uh, younger Vander Holyfield, they waited some years later, but, you know, a lot of stories tell you that Vander would have pumped Mike regardless of the time and situation. Um, yeah, I said situation. So it's been a lot of them that didn't happen. Gamboa and Juan Ma Lopez didn't happen. That was a nice little fight that we wanted to see back in the day. Um, so, you know, but, uh, you know, but hey, it is what it is. But, you know, for Terrence Crawford, bro, I mean, whatever it is, bro, it ain't, even no, it ain't no point in hanging around boxing. I know it's hard. These dudes been doing something since they was a kid, and it's hard to feel that void when you retire. Nothing actually, you know, uh, you know, scratch that itch. Like, like actually fighting, but there ain't nothing, nothing to do left to be hanging around, honestly. It's like Brother Nye seen Richardson rest the power to him, told Bernard Hopkins, you done did everything but get knocked out. You done did everything. Ain't nothing left to do but get knocked out. You know? But it's an addiction. You know what I'm saying? It's an addiction. But like I said, whatever his next goal is, reach it. And get out of there. Don't let, don't, you know, all they trying to do is age you out. And they probably is waiting for you, to you like Larry Holmes to go sit on the couch and feed you to Mike Tyson and give you a fat payday to boost up Mike. Ain't no way Mike Tyson would have whooped Larry Holmes in his prime. And I'm going to always say that. Ain't no way. Larry Holmes came off the couch and people don't talk, and people don't talk about that because they hated Larry Holmes because he beat up Muhammad Ali. What the fuck would he, was he supposed to do? A whole people hated the man because he had to go through Ali to get a title. So what were you supposed to do? Throw the fight? And that and that carried and that kid that, that carried through his whole career, which was some bullshit. And I said it. Hell of a fighter. My favorite heavyweight. You know? Hell of a fighter. I love Ali, but I, my favorite was Larry Holmes. Love him. I said he better than Muhammad Ali was at his prime at his prime. But, but yeah, ain't too much left to do in, in, in the great sport of boxing with Terrence Crawford. I guess go up, get another belt. I mean, you can't do nothing when the politics working against you. When Al don't want to, well, you always want to put you on a slave deal. He want to hold your career. But then again, why wouldn't he? He holding up a, 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 a roster, a billion rosters of, 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 you know, hundreds of rosters of people on his roster. He holding their career up. He done messed their career up. So what you expect? What you expect? Killed activity in the sport of boxing, and they, people think scientifically that 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 is the best way. That's better. You fighting less to get to get more money. The problem is they ain't getting more money, and fighting once ain't it ain't that ain't the ticket, bro. 
That's that's not that's not the answer. Fight once a year. It's not the answer, bro. You gotta fight to stay sharp, bro. You can't spar. More injuries happen in sparring than they do in fighting. Fighting once or twice a year is not extending your career, sitting there, getting out of shape, getting fat, not utilizing your tools. How many dudes stand? Who how many people stay ready so they don't have to get ready? You fight once a year, you don't know when you fight in a lot of these situations. How many? Not many. I mean, you got the, you know, maybe Crawford, the Charlo twins, Deontay, handful of fighters. Canelo Alvarez, it's a handful. Who gonna stay in the gym and do what they need to do? But for Crawford, yeah, man. I mean, go fight Rocha. I mean, he beat Blair Cobb. I mean, that could have been Blair Cobb in there had he beat Rocha. Who knows? It might be Rocha night. It might be the night where Crawford get old. You know what I'm saying? You know, Crawford might just get bored fighting the caliber of fighters and he might overlook Alexa Rocha. He don't come off as that type of fighter. But you never know. You never know. You never know. You never, you never know. So, like I said before, you know, the Virgil Ortiz fight would be interesting. You know, seeing what he do versus the owners, if he have a setback, then they, they more than likely not going to want to make that fight. He, 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 if he don't blow past the owners, and I know Styles make fights, bro, he, he should get in the ring with nobody to know. I think Stan is just trying out there at Robert Garcia gym too. Real talk. He should, he should blow past dog. Somebody that sit right in front of you, bro. That's exactly what Marjorie Ortiz, you know, won't. But, you know, Roach is solid. I mean, we would like to see better. But Danny Garcia want to go do something else. Earl and Keith about to dance at 54. We don't know what's going on there. Uh, we don't even know if Showtime going to continue to carry boxing. Steven Espinosa got demoted to CBS president to report to the real president, basically the vice president reporter. So we don't know what the hell happened. You know? But, you know, like I said, you know, Rocha, they probably going to try to do it in Southern California. Um, Crawford is a, is, is a predominant East Coast fighter. And to me, that's the best media market to be in. But they in boxing, they, can, they cater to Mexicans. That's what they do. They cater to Mexicans in boxing. They cater to Mexicans. So more than likely, they're going to stay out west. But the east is where you grow your, your fanfare at. That's the, that's the media capital of the U.S. That's the media capital of the U.S., the east. That's where everything, you know, pretty much run on Eastern Standard Time, first and foremost, when you talk about American sports. That's why. You know, more people can see you. I mean, if you got a fight that's starting at, at midnight, bro, most people is, you know, if it's a Saturday night, most people probably, some people are just getting off work, at work, some people in the streets, you know, especially in the wintertime, a lot of people in the bed or doing other stuff. So boxing don't boxing don't have the most fan, casual fan or or new fan friendly uh, structure, bro. They just trying to cater to the West Coast and the West Coast is a, is a, is a, is a small percentage. You never see nobody cater to the West Coast when it comes to time. Either they on time delay or shit. The football game start at 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock there. And boxing want to continue to be on the West Coast time. You got to be on East Coast time. And that motherfucker fight going to start, you know, 6 o'clock. And the main event going to be 6, 7 o'clock Pacific time. So be it. You know? That's the thing about fighting in New York. All top media is there. Just think about it. It's it's millions and millions of people in the New York City area. You can go, you can easily go platinum in New York City selling a house. Like if you really a hot artist in New York, you should go platinum just in New York. Really, it should be a case to be made. You should go double platinum just in New York City. Alone, we ain't even talking about the state of New York. 
We ain't talking about the tri-state area neither. You should, you should go platinum just off the, if you really did shit like that, you should go double platinum just off of New York City. I know they bootlegged the fuck out of CDs back in the day, but it's realistic. If it's like Boosie said, if it's hood platinum. It's hood platinum, but like I said, it's better to fight off ease. That's how you build a better fan base. But they like to cater out to this. Everything in boxing is catered to the Hispanics. Everything. So, but uh, but yeah, I said before, we'll see what happens. Um, Birds got to win. Crawford got to want to stay over there. And they got to find a way to get the Earl. And they get the Earl fight. It's going to be a 50 40. I'm surprised they ain't stripped Earl last yet, to be real. But hey, uh, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I heard that he just wanted to do a tester filler out fight and then see how he liked it over there and you know then you know see if he want to continue on. So we'll see what happens. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance. Get notifications, we go live or drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.